Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 47 of Daryl20's Let's Play series, where real quick I'm just going to cover a couple things I did between episodes here. Uh, set up a second chandelier uh, for the whole shebang here, so now I've got twice as much auto-crafting storage as I had before. Let's take a look. Oh yes, far better. Much more. That's cool. Alright, sweet. Uh, in addition to that, I set up automation with my uranium ingots. So uh, this the, the exact same thing I did before. Uh, I've just got now a new channel on green for sand. Uh, and that's going to uh, just extract sand out of here whenever we are low on uranium. 1024 uh, is the number I happened to go with. Now remember, we're not burning uranium at the moment. So that number is not really going down uh, because we don't have the reactor up and running. So uranium is not being used. But pretty soon... It will be. Uh, in today's episode, I prepped to get lithium going. Uh, so let's see, how's stuff going over here? Are you are you guys actually running? I didn't think you were running all that much. You shouldn't really be running. I guess you're... Oh, you know what? I didn't chunk load this area, did I? I probably didn't. Is this stuff all within the chunk boundaries? It is not. Wow, I did I actually did a really bad job with chunk loading here, didn't I? Yeah, I should have paid attention to that last episode, but I didn't. So, oh well, life goes on. Should be fine. That that should be cool. But I'm now at 25 out of 25 force loaded, so I need to go into the configs and give myself more chunk loading. Uh, not a big deal. Not a big deal. But yeah, that's the reason. I'm like, why hasn't this... Oh, right, because it hasn't been chunk loaded. I haven't been here, so it's basically been paused. Uh, the whole time. But yeah, shortly the fissile fuel here will uh, fill up and then backs up all the things. Sweet. All right. So let me put away all this junk that I've got in my inventory, courtesy of the fact that I just spent the last 10 or 15 minutes doing a bunch of other tasks, which was fun. All right. That looks pretty cool to me. You can go away and that's good enough. All right. Into my new... Um, Thermal area. Ooh, that should be cool. A new compact machine within which to make lithium. So this is going to be a compact lithium manufacturer. Uh, it's going to be pretty straightforward. If I remember correctly, and it's been a little while, but I think we want... Is it 4 by 4 And then... See if I see if I remember that correctly. Um, you, and then we're gonna want water in. We're gonna want this dude out. We're gonna want heat, and then the rest. Hooray! Thermal evaporation plant. Nice. Dyer remembers. Dyer, good Dyer. And then, remember, we need basically two of these, and then I'm going to boop, boop, boop with this here. And I just kicked off a hundred of these guys. So we'll probably want, let's say, another 40. Mm -hmm. Making it up as I go. You know Dyer. It's kind of how I roll. Seems pretty good, right? How about one more batch of thermal evaporations? That should be a quickie. Yeah, works for me. All right, uh, so mechanism, uh, basic pressurized tube will go here. Is it not a, is it a, is it a liquid that we're making? I guess so. Uh, so let's see, you need the heat guy, right? So you're gonna get a resistive heater. Is this the right angle for you? I always forget exactly how this is supposed to look. 
I think you want to be rotated. So I think you want the... Yeah, you want the green side to be in. So then you with... Start with 250 RF a tick. That should be heating these bad boys up pretty nicely. See, temperature going up. That's looking good. You can tell I've done this like a million times, right? Probably. So how about on the down, you will be an extract and we're gonna need more fluid cards. Easy peasy. I love this access to the AE2 system interdimensionally thing. That is just, it's such a good quality. Like it saves me so much trouble just going back and forth when I forgot something. Like there's no reason not to, right? So on the down, you can extract eight buckets of tech, which should fill up pretty quickly if we, on the opposite side of you, put an insert card there, boom. Yoinks, and then Brian's happening. And then on this side can be an extraction of eight buckets of tech, and then on the opposite side will be an insert. And then liquid lithium's happening, perfect. And then uh, to turn liquid lithium into lithium dust, uh, we need a chemical crystallizer and we need a rotary condensator. That one's easy. And then crystallizer, also easy. There you go. Cool. Um, so you're going to, for fluids, input on the top, and then for gases, how about you output to the right? Does that sound cool? Chemical crystallizer. The opposite side of you will be my extract, and then on the down will be an insert, right? And then I think I need to hit this button before you decide. Yes, perfect. Okay, and then we probably want um, some of these guys. I don't think either of these accept gas upgrades. Am I correct about that? Gas upgrade not supported. Gas upgrade not supported. Perfect. Okay. And let's just grab... You guys, power, nice. Okay, that works for me. Uh, and then if we just got an ender chest. We can do the thing. So items, output, eject on. Cool, lithium dust for days. Literally just a ridiculously infinite amount. That works for me. Shouldn't be a problem. Cool. Right? Not bad? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So with lithium dust coming in, let's throw that in a drawer so that we don't just in suddenly have tens of thousands of it. Uh, so let's get lithium. Are you in the thing? Are you in the thing? Yes, so lithium can go here, and we'll just put a, how about a diamond and a void. Cool, we'll be right back. All right, so I just uh, taught this here system how to make all the things I need to make. So I'm gonna kick off uh, an ultimate induction cell and an ultimate induction provider, though I suspect I may not have quite enough resources for this, but that's okay. Uh, it'll get sorted out pretty quickly. Um, so let's do the thing, let, let a little bit of time go by, it'll regenerate more redstone via automation for me, and we'll be right back. All right, let's, uh, let's get started, let's see. So I've got my induction cell done. Do I have enough for the provider just yet? I'm just waiting on lithium, I think, last I saw. Yeah, a little bit. So we'll just start building this thing. Does that sound cool? Um, so what I'm thinking I might do... 
Let's just, because we always build this thing too big, and then we decide we never need it quite as big as we made it. And we can always expand it in the future if we so desire. But what we could simply do um, is we could have a port here, and we could have a port here, and I'm going to put my cell here. Okay, so now his capacity is 1.6 trillion RF. His max input output is, I believe, zero because we didn't put a provider in there yet. Uh, so we'll get that added in a moment. Once we get that done, then we just have, you know, the three by three by four. I think that's probably going to be good enough. Yeah, does that work? I think so. Uh, so again, that was the cell. So it's the provider that I want. How are we doing? 16 more lithium dust. We'll be there in just a minute. I'll be back when the crafting is complete because you know that takes a minute too. All right, ultimate induction complete. So then, pop this guy down here, we do that, and then it's a simple matter of this and that, right? Now, do I have to set you to outputs and inputs? I always forget. Um, output, yes. So that would put you there and you there, and then you'd be building up. Nice. All right, that's cool. Now you are going to start running now because your internal buffer is no longer full, which is fine, which is fine. Uh, and then in addition to that, I wouldn't mind a flux receives energy. Yes, one of these to go on the generator. Cool. So that would be this bad boy. Cool. But you'll start getting energy on the generators network. So that if you're running and producing power. There we go. Steam's coming in. Nice. Okay. You're generating power and you're cooking. Cool. All right. Now we should be able to turn this guy up pretty good, but maybe I should add the heat control stuff to this just to be super safe. Probably not a bad idea. Uh, especially because it's so easy to automate, right? Uh, super easy to set up. Uh, I might want to move... Let's move the sink. I feel like that's probably a good idea. So on the down, you get all these guys and you get your overclockers. And then on the opposite side of this, you get your insert. And then um, we're going to want the reactor logic. Cool. So you are going to output when reactor reaches dangerous high temperatures. Okay, so if temperature goes up, you're going to emit a redstone signal. Um, and then you're going to be an activation control. And then we basically just need a not gate here, right? Uh, I mean, I could super circuit maker this. Maybe wouldn't be a bad idea. Maybe super circuit maker it so that I can put a lever. Or something. With a redstone torch? How's that sound? So what am I going to want to make here? Probably an AND gate, but with a NOT on this. So we want you to not be receiving a signal, and we want this lever to be active. Right? And then do I have the screwdriver? I do. So what we're going to want here is you to receive, and then let's simulate this with a lever. Cool. Um, so then you're going to effectively be that, and then you're going to read from the lever and we want it to be this and this, right? 
So then what we want is probably you and you. Read, read, output. Read, output. And then this, right? So with this lever on, the reactor's on. If it overheats, it shuts off. If it cools down, it turns back on. And then this turns it off as well. So this is the master, like this has to be on. And then if it ever overheats, it clips off. Is that cool? I think that's cool. So I should have no problem setting this to 40, right? All right, maybe I do have a problem setting that to 40. Why do I have such a problem setting that to 40? Did you have a problem sending the water back? Well, let's set it to 30 and see how that goes. Caught it myself because I don't know why this is having such a problem. I don't I don't know that I ever tested this thing working, the water bit. So side config fluids input. Do I need to like because the vents definitely are what, you know, do the water thing, right? Um, do you have water? Steam input, steam, energy. Isn't there a water buffer in here somewhere, or do I not see that anymore? It is the vents that output the water, right? I thought that would all output directly into this guy, but maybe not. Let's do this. Mechanism pipes. Real quick, I'm just going to craft up some ultimate pipes and see how that goes. Nope, not advanced. Ultimate. That should not be a problem. And then I'm going to pipe into this thing rather than because he might not be auto ejecting and that might be the problem never done it this way before so you know that is not one of these yeah so for side config, fluids, input is all. So input on all side for fluids, and you are on the water channel. And then you should be outputting water. Yes. In theory. And your side config for fluids is yes. Okay, let's try that again. Now we're behaving a little better. Sweet. Now we should be able to bump it up to 45. Uh, close. I don't know why that's still being a problem for me. Um, 30? I want it to fill up again. Let's, let's start with 25 and see how that goes. Not great, right? Yeah, see, it's toggling now. Why are you being such a stinker about sending water? Are you actually, like, sending water or what? Hey, what do you... Nobody said break. Nobody said break. So that should be input. That's your reactor glass. What if we put you here? Side config fluids... Just want to see if you're like getting water. You are getting water. So it would seem. Maybe we don't have enough of these things. That could be. That could be. Let's get some more ports and see if that's the problem. I don't know the limit. 
Uh, I only guessed at the limit. Uh, I don't know what the actual limit. Fission reactor port. That's what we want. I only guessed at the limit. So let's do this. Never done it this way before, but this is how we learn new tricks, right? So I'm going to say I want four of these for input, right? And this should be input only. Perfect. And you could go there, and you could be... How about that? Cool. And your side config for fluids is all blue. Eject on. So that should work. So let's see what happens when I turn this bad boy on now. See the water going in? Man, what is going on? Well, at least we know our overheating problem is working. So that's... Who died? Oh, probably one of those... One of those things. Uh, yeah, this is weird to me. It's weird, right? Am I crazy? What am I, what am I doing wrong here? I've done this like a million times. Why do I feel like... This ain't working out right. Uh, let me play and I'll be right back. Maybe it's just that we don't have enough exports here for the turbine vents. That definitely could be it. Maybe the quantum entanglement because can't transfer it fast enough. Uh, definitely possible. Definitely possible. Uh, we could laser IO it and see how that goes. You want to do that? Sure. Right. Let's see how this goes. Insert. Extract. So if I run you at, let's say, 10. Are you doing things? Why do I feel like, why do I feel like I'm crazy right now? Is it not the turbine vents that export water on these things? Yeah, no, it is water. Comes out of these bad boys. So you should be inserting water into here. You should be extracting water from here. All right, let's try this. Let's get a tank. We're going to get an ultimate fluid tank. Do you push into the tank? Pretty slowly, though. Okay. All right. So on the up, let's just let's just remove you for a sec. I've done this so many times, and I've never really had this much of a problem with it. So yeah, you're pretty full pretty quickly. So maybe the problem is the amount of transfer speed we've got going on. All right, then in that case, let's go hog wild, right? All right, does that sound cool? See what happens now. Still not enough, holy cow. I guess, uh, and this is only running at 10 millibuckets per tick, which I feel like, wow, I'm impressed, I gotta say. I gotta say, that's pretty nutty. Pretty nutty. All right, let's start with this and see if that's enough cooling. Thought this would be a little bit faster with the whole quantum entanglers. I thought they were like unlimited transfer, but maybe I'm crazy. Well, that's doing better. And we're barely filling, well, maybe. All right, so now if we bump you up to 25, are you cool? Hey, 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 all right. I knew we could handle it. Nice, all right, 50. 
I think 50 is doable if I remember correctly. Yeah, totally cool on water now. All right, I guess it's just a crazy-ish amount of water going on here, right? Um, but yeah, no, we're good, right? 140 million RF a tick? That's cool. Yeah, let's bypass limit on you. And let's make sure that over on this guy we're bypassing limit, yes. I believe that to be true. Bypass limit. Yeah, now we're cooking. Ha <laughs> Beautiful. And we might as well make sure that you are also set to bypass limit. And that, I think, means that we have plenty of power storage and all that good stuff. So now, um, we should be making lots of nuclear waste. Good. Uh, we've got 80 buckets worth of it already, and it's cruising right along. And you're producing power like nobody's business. About a million R of a tick. Looking good. Let's get our radioactive waste barrels ready to go. So basically, and as a reminder, be very careful with this stuff because if you break the barrel when there's waste in it, bad times. Pressurized tube here and here. All right. And then you should be filling up. Good. Cool. Nuclear waste filling. Great. Now we need to handle the processing of waste. So we know the main thing that's needed is polonium pellets. So that's going to be a PRC with water, polonium, and fluorite dust. And polonium is going to come from a solar neutron activator with that nuclear waste. So that's the main one that I know we want. Have I not done HDPE sheets yet? I thought I had something going on with those, didn't I? Did I never do anything with HDPE sheets? Uh, I should probably knock that out real quick. I know I had something down here. Was I not doing HDPE? Oxygen and liquid ethylene. So there's ethylene here. Turning into liquid ethylene. And I know I've got oxygen going on. So we could probably cook this up real quick. Right? Um, so HDPE pellets is a PRC. Cool. So one. I know we're going to need two, right? There we go, you and you. Cool. One. And two. I love the crafting jobs completing the top right. I love the, the real-time update thing. So you need oxygen and liquid ethylene, right? So you're going to go here. You are going to output to the bottom, and you've got oxygen in. Perfect. Um, cool. All right. And then you need liquid ethylene, which is on fluid white from this network. Is this all the same network? Is it all the same network? You guys are connected. I guess you're all the same network. You have like a filter going on? Okay. Uh, how about, you have no energy? Explain how you have no energy, electrolytic separator. Did I turn this whole thing off? No, I don't think so. How do you not have any energy? Oh, right, you don't have any energy, right. Oh, duh, hold on. Um, I forgot, I didn't hook this thing back up. Uh, so let's do a flux point. I never reconnected this guy, silly dire. Um, 
you can get energy from there and that'll fill up this guy and that'll bring everybody back online and running yep makes sense cool all right uh so you're making the liquid ethylene but i still don't know why you're extracting on white that's weird to me but i guess we'll just figure it out um so laser node here how about no that was supposed to be here uh, how about insert on white? But let's make sure that we filter you because you need liquid ethylene, right? There we go, liquid ethylene. And then you to you. Cool, that works, right? Okay. And then, um, in addition, you need substrates, which we're getting from... Where are substrates even going? An exceptional question, right? Uh, you are going where? Well, we have them somewhere. I can see that much. They might just be getting thrown into, like through here, into this guy. Substrates might be landing in here. I don't know. It's a guess. I said this up so long ago, I don't remember how any of it works. Isn't that funny? We can throw energy in there though. That'll keep that guy going. We're gonna need more energy cards. By the way, yeah, it was so long ago that I set this up. I don't even know. So, what I could do, how about what do we insert on all the way up here? My goodness, this is such a such a dire wiry mess. But how about you can extract on white? Well, somehow he made an HDPE sheet, didn't he? Yeah. How about input output on the left? Yeah, that works. Um, so what if we, we could either export bus? You know what we could do? We could. This is so convoluted. But technically it should work. How about extract on brown? And insert on brown? Does that work? I don't see why not. Yeah? And he's getting power. Should be cool. Because I don't think we really need substrates for anything other than this. So there's no reason not to just turn all our substrates into HDPE sheets, right? And that should be fine. I think so. I think so. And we've got such a silly amount of them. I know I can go this enrichment chamber recipe. I guess I'll do that just because it shouldn't be too bad. Because we've got an enrichment chamber here somewhere ultimate enriching factory that'll do cool and that means solar neutron activator should not be a problem good good deal all right so then back to this guy and at some point i'll do the plutonium thing if i need to um i know you need a little bit of plutonium sometimes but we'll decide if I really need it. But for now, all I'm gonna do is something like that. Yes. Now it needs to be daytime for this. 
been a while since I slept through the night, but I don't think I need any of those dudes anymore because I'm pretty sure I've got 2048 of their phantom membranes. So flying all the way back, then we just need to configurator you. There you go. So you're all going into here. You're making polonium, which is cool. And then the polonium can spit out the front into a pressurized reaction chamber with water and fluorite dust. So let's get a sink. Let's get a laser node real quick. Because we know that's cool. That should be water. And then we just need fluorite dust, which I'll real quick set up in the crusher recipe. Yeah, I think we're getting close to that point, folks. Can I search for, I can, but everything's in use right now for the crushing factory. Let me just steal platinum for the time being with fluorite. And this will get us our, our stuff, our polonium. Cool. All right, let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next episode. I'll probably make this setup a little bit better. Um, but for now, Dial 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, we'll come back next time. Let's see, I should be able to do you and you. But I probably want four more speed upgrades. Because remember, I only put four in the electrolytic separator over in the other thing. Those things just drain power like nobody's business. Though, it shouldn't be too much of a problem for me now. But still. And then we also obviously have to handle... Um, did I already put energy in there? There we go. Uh, we're going to obviously have to handle um, spent nuclear waste. So for now, Dalton, I sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.